Hello, Cancer. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I think you guys are having a little bit of a rough time. I just saw FML. Fuck my life, right? Um, all right. There's some uh, moon energy happening here. You could be dealing with a uh, an Aries or a Leo. Birth date could be on the 4th or April. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. If you'd like to book a read with me, rootsandrewards.com. It's in the description box below. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Take a deep breath. And release. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be a person. I need to talk. A little dirty, so get offended just find your way out of the read come again another day let me say my little prayer and we'll get started really yeah you don't you guys are not going together too good here so you and someone are not really connecting it just said three isn't uh isn't supported so you're not feeling supported uh by this person in your life cancer all right what's going on cancer yeah soulmates in reverse so you don't really feel like this is a soulmate connection between you and this person it's really like cold between the two of you cancer what's going on what do you need to hear for the next week or so? Cancer, you justice, Libra energy. You're justifying things for yourself. Knight of Swords, you are, you are, no, you're stopping. You're stopping communication. Stopping communication with this person here. You feel like this person is a master manipulator. They drop you, they drop you to your knees. You may have blonde hair. Or like really frosty, almost white. Cancer, oh, what's going on? You're trying to manifest better for your life. You could have um, a white dog or like a long-haired dog, maybe a husky here. Uh, Ace of, oh, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. Cancer, uh person is very wounded they got a lot of scars on them they could have scars on their body uh, temperance Sagittarius energy you're losing patience with this person all right so this person's not really uh, emotionally balanced or they could be very impatient or hot-tempered justice star card you're choosing this person doesn't really make you feel like the star in their life and you're just justifying things by healing possibly pouring out any feelings that you did have for this person king of swords with the two of cups so you probably told this person it could be a fellow cancer you probably told this person i don't really see this you know as a loving connection, um, I want to move away from this because maybe you have somebody else that you feel more connected to uh, as a soulmate here. You're traveling away from a manipulator and you're manifesting travel also. Cancer what's going on with the cancers somebody's a little two-faced i feel somebody's two-faced three of cups this this king of cups has uh other options probably put you in a third party they're about fantasy land they're about alice in wonderland they like playland they like to uh play with a lot of entities and energies so basically threesomes and shit with the three of cups um king of swords they could be very intellectual this person someone cloaks themselves though 
they cloak what they actually are thinking in their mind. Cancer, star card, Libra energy, justice, and the seven of pentacles. There's no, you're just like, no, there's no legacy here. I can't grow with you. Can't grow with you. Devil card, Capricorn, energy, cancer, energy. You may... You may have love for a, 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 a Cancer Capricorn Gemini energy here. You have heavy attraction towards someone here and love, love and attraction. And you don't have really too much communication with this person. I think you feel like somebody's toxic, to be honest. I think you really feel like somebody's fucking toxic because the uh, moving away from the magician that the, the manipulator in the relationship traveling towards a real lover here, someone that is real for you. So who's, you got, you might have a lot of cats uh, you may go to a lot of like outdoor parties with lanterns in the backyard, possibly went to a, like an, a wedding that was out, out in the backyard in the forest or something like that. It's a rabbit. <laughs> it, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Somebody could have orange hair. Three of cups. Leo. So you're gaining your enlightenment about this person that put you in third party, that put you in like sexual experiences. You were not seeing any type of stability. There's no stability there. Somebody doesn't enlighten you. Somebody takes away your stability here. King of Swords. And the temperance. Queen of Cups. This person put you on your head. There's no investment. Eight of Pentacles. No investment. They put you up on your head and your emotions. Now, I want to know who this Capricorn Cancer is. That there's no communication with this person. Four of Wands, though. You want a partnership with this person. You guys could be waiting for someone here. You could be waiting to show love energy and excitement and attraction to someone here and to have a partnership with them. The lovers, oh my God. Page of Swords. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to keep looking at this person that you're with. You're going to stop watching them. All right, Cancer, what's going on? Cancer, oh my God, sloppy. This person's sloppy. This person doesn't value you as the Empress. They're a fool. They give you fuckery. They just leap in and leap out, and they don't really invest too much here in you. You're seeing this person as a fool now. This could be a nomad just jumping around. Lad to lad, a girl to girl, jumping around. They could even be in a marriage. They could even be married. Pisces, high priestess. Maybe hiding that they're in a partnership. In a relationship. You're stopping communication and action with this person. Because you just don't feel like it's healing. It's not healing for you. Aquarius, Aries, energy is not healing. It's just it's a fucking mess. It's a mess with this person, Cancer person's messy cancer yeah. they don't bring in love energy they don't really bring in love they bring in the hot rod this is what i see so they're just trying to get in your bed and fuck you and rest with someone they just need somebody to rest with they just need 
the comfort of a hot rod or a warm apple pie. This person wind, wind, will wind up putting you in mental conflict if they already, if if you didn't already get it. Yeah, I think you already know that, that this person is got a few screws loose. But if you didn't know, now you know for future reference. Keep your eyes open. Cancer. So what's happening? What's what's happening? You know, you're gonna look out to the future. Get yourself out of crossroads. See that there's a lot of other things that you could be getting into, a lot of other people that you could be connecting with. Oh. Could need to go to a chiropractor, cancer. Cancer. There you are. Queen of Cups. You are going towards, you may be going back towards a past relationship with your cancer. Somebody that meets you emotionally and intellectually that gives you good communication. You could have a child with this person. Could be going back to it. Uh, your uh, child's dad or uh, mother to claim victory, to be recognized. Feels like nostalgia is here, and this King of Swords, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is like, come, come talk to me, and you're going to want to emotionally invest in this person. Cancer, Cancer energy. So, yeah, this yo-yo and this rocking back and forth, this could have been a rebound uh, for you, this guy here, this person here for you, while you were waiting to work on your true soulmate connection with someone else. Yeah, this guy wants to work. See the thief in the night? You Shawshank Redemption. This person caught you at a low time. Caught you while you were still trying to overcome another relationship. And yeah, you got caught being breadcrumbs. This past person is wanting to invest or this person from your childhood maybe this is a friend that turns into a lover okay but there's walking away and closing chapters out closing cycles out getting you know overcoming whatever went on if this was a past relationship like walking away from the spilt milk of what happened and now starting a fresh slate i feel so small my camera, I had to take it out of the uh, the case. It started overheating for uh, Virgo's read. I never did that before. Yeah, you, so you're going to rest and rejuvenate from the heartbreak that you've had uh, in this connection and past connections. Yeah, leaping into the unknown, leaping into light and fluffy energy. Not accepting a fishy cup of love from this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this thief in the night. Nope. This person is so fucking wounded. They play victim of their lives. They don't, they don't see what they do. They're emotionally unavailable. And they're emotionally immature. Or they could even be younger than you, if it's that. They're just toxic. So you're getting yourself out of a toxic situation with a toxic person. And I think you're traveling away also from your own toxicity. You're traveling away from being in competition, having a fight, how to fight people, uh, to see your worth or value you the way that you should be valued. So that's good. You deserve to be valued and cherished, not just, you know, thrown around like a fucking rag doll like this person wanted to do to you. That's not fair to you, Cancer. Not fair. This person was a black cat. Gave you, gave you a lot of indecision. They blindfolded you. You had your rose-colored glasses on with this person. All right, yeah, not good. Causing heartbreak, sadness, double-edged sword, 
Yeah, but ultimately you sabotaged for yourself too, you know. You knew. You knew what this person was about when you got a hold of them. You knew that they were connected to other people. You knew this. You thought you could handle a connection like this, but you really couldn't. You couldn't. You need people to put effort into you. You need your wish fulfillment. You need your Ten of Cups. And when somebody can't work on it with you, you need to travel away from it. Yeah, you are. You're rowing away from the mental conflict. You're getting in the boat with somebody else. Who's this other person you get in the boat with? Moon. It's hidden from you right now. Someone's hiding feelings for you. Cancer, Pisces, Leo energy. You get your wish fulfillment. After these energies were holding back from you. Who's coming in for Cancer? The thief. Ah, ah. The thief. So maybe don't trust people too quickly here. Because the thief is back out here. You, you're gaining enlightenment about this Pisces Cancer energy. You're gaining your enlightenment. And you're going to go over here towards family, becoming stronger, becoming more supportive, more grounded, uh, closeness here. Working, working hard on, on connections that work hard for you and not connections that throw you illusions or make you an option, ultimately. This, this energy is it's wearing me out. Next up is air signs. Let me cleanse myself out. Some of you guys are needing to do some stretching. You need to move your energy. I feel that like you're so uptight. Buddy uptight. All right, Cancer, what's coming in? What's going out? What's going on? Coffee talk. All right, so you're going to be conversating with people, meeting new people, feeling uplifted, and you're starting friendships with people. And very nice. Very nice. You're looking in the mirror. You're seeing yourself, your own wounds. You're looking at this person's wounds. And you're resolving. You're resolving your wounds. You're no longer going to mirror your wounds onto someone else or have other people mirroring their wounds onto you. You're reflecting on your wounds. There's the Grim Reaper. Relationship is over. You're ending it. And uh, Cupid's arrows here. It could be going towards a Sage with love energy. So you're stopping one connection. You're going towards another connection. And you're having faith that things will work out. There may be a surprise invitation for you coming in to go to coffee. Somebody may be asking you to go to a nice little coffee shop. Milk and honey. There you go. Maybe you put milk and honey in your, in your coffee or your tea. Somebody may like raw milk. This rainbow and happiness coming in. TikTok. TikTok. So you may be on TikTok. Or oh, the clock's clock's running. It's running out. The yang energy. Connecting more feminine energy here. Right? Feminine? Wait, why am I so confused today? You know when you just Uno momento, mi amor. Could be Spanish. What the fuck is this? Why is this on here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Feminine, yeah. Young. No, yeah. Energy, feminine. Still dark. Young is masculine. So you're connecting with your masculine energy, your shadow. That's what I'm trying to say, your shadow side. 
There's movement, there's activity, upward. Uh, working on your uh, increasing your energy levels. So, yeah, you're working on masculine energy. Shadows. Work on those shadows. It will help guide you towards something that is very fair for you. To be fair, you work on your own energy, on your dark. Things will end nicely for you. With your past or this person that you were... It was like a never-ending story with this person. Never-ending. They can't give you kids they can't give you ideas they don't make you feel any any which way they don't, don't do it for you they just don't do it for you so you're wrapping it up oh, no. Ow. and and they may be a little harsh with you too when you're saying adios amigos expect powerful change yeah they may be a you know, they may be trying to hurt you when you're trying to release them. They may be saying some hurtful words to you. You're very close to achieving your goals, so that's really nice. Communication is key. I think somebody has a hard time with communication. And step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, don't fear changing or leaving. And that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. Yeah, fire, fiery climax approaches Aries energy. So this person may argue with you. Just nasty. Um, I have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link below. If uh, anybody wants to purchase anything from my wish list, I am looking to get some new decks. I'm getting a little bored over here with the ones that I got. Uh, so to take a little pressure off me, uh, you guys could purchase some if you want. Uh, if not, just throw me up an emoji. Give me some feedback on how these reads are resonating with you. Let me know how you're liking the individual Zodiac reads. And uh, yeah, throw me back into the algorithm. The more places you follow, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy to give you the best guidance possible. I'm on... Instagram, Roots and Rewards, TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse, over here on YouTube, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Time for your collective reads weekly. And just keep yourself in high regard. It's looking good moving forward. You just got to, you know, really work on your shadow and ground the shit out of yourself and know what you deserve from your, your people and what you want ultimately out of your life. All right. And that's what I got for you. Have a great one. Next up is air signs. I don't know who I'm going to do yet. It's going to be a different day because I am done today. I am cooked. <laughs> you may be a good cook. You may like to cook. Uh, or you may need to go and cook your dinner. Uh, all right. That's what I got. Keep yourself in higher regard. Bye, guys.